Have you ever wondered how you would spend your money if you were a king? Well, it seems like a tempting offer, and who would not want that? Many people have it, and they spend their money extraordinarily. And today's video is all about that. Today, we'll talk about the king of Qatar and how he spends his money. But before we start, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. With that note, let's get started. Father Sheikh Ahmad and Mother Sheikh Moza welcome Sheikh Tamim into the world on June 3, 1980 in Doha. Sheikh Tamim's impressive resume of accomplishments was made clear before the Qatari throne after his older brother Sheikh Hasim rejected his claim to the position. Before earning his A-level at Harrow School in 1997, he attended the Sherborne School in Dorset, England. He attended the Royal Sanders Military Academy just like his father and received his diploma the following year. After receiving his degree, Sheikh Tamim was appointed as a second lieutenant in the Qatar Armed Forces, which helped lay a strong foundation under his impressive accomplishments. From that point on, Sheikh Tamim started going through various pieces of training so he could become a realistic monarch. On June 8, 2005, Sheikh Tamim wed Sheikha Jawahir bin Al Thani, a model in his first marriage. And in the same year, he concluded that Qatar would benefit from being listed in the World Cup. This explains Sheikh Tamim's passion for sports and interest in them. He served in the executive branches of security and the economy before being named the Deputy Commander-in-Chief of the Qatari Armed Forces on August 5, 2003. Later, he established Qatar Sports Assets, which, among other investments, owns Paris Saint-Germain FC. He served as the head of the organizing committee for the 15th Asian Games in Doha in 2006 when his first child, Sheikha Al Mayasa, was born. All member nations participated in the event for the first time under his direction. Sheikh Tamim was elected as the finest sports figure in the Arab world by Al Haram of Egypt in the same year. Then, Sheikh Tamim had three additional children from his first marriage, two sons and a daughter. He wed his second wife, Sheikha Al Anud bin Mana Al Hajiri, on March 3, 2009, and the two of them have three daughters and two sons. He persisted in Qatar participating in the World Cup. Under his guidance, Qatar gained the right to host the 2014 World FINA Swimming Championships. Qatar won the privilege to host the 2022 FIFA World Cup, continuing its winning trend. Later, he married his third wife, Sheikha Noura, who gave birth to his three sons and a daughter in 2014. According to projections, the nation spends about $200 billion on infrastructure to prepare for the World Cup. Sheikh Tamim also serves as the chairman of Qatar Investment Authority's Board of Directors. Under his direction, the fund has invested in numerous British businesses, including Barclays Bank, Sainsbury's, and Harrods. According to reports, the fund also has a share in the Shard, the fourth tallest structure in Europe. In addition, Sheikh Tamim is the head of the Oshkal Public Works Authority, the UPTA Urban Development and Planning Authority, the Supreme Council of Education, and Qatar University's Board of Directors. His 2005 purchase of Paris Saint-Germain FC played a significant role in Sheikh Tamim's climb to economic affluence and the income from his empire. The fact that Sheikh Tamim owns businesses that have grown into global brands and attract customers from all over the world is another contributing aspect. Thus, he spends much of his wealth on travel, mansions, yachts, private planes, automobiles, and other things. A Boeing 747 BBJ are among the private aircraft owned by Sheikh Tamim. When Sheikh isn't using these jets to meet with foreign leaders and other notable individuals, he's likely going on vacation. According to reports, he enjoys playing bowls and badminton over the break and is always protected. Custom features on Sheikh Tamim's private aircraft are intended to keep him comfortable throughout several flights. These amenities include a sizable dining room, a sitting space, a bedroom, etc. Because extremists are bound to be on your radar when you're the ruler of an empire, the security of these private jets is likewise highly high. At the same time, the Qatari ruler spends billions on various items, including these private planes. Speaking about a more leisurely mode of transportation, he owns several opulent yachts. The Al Lusail yacht is at the top of the list. Because it is a $500 million super yacht launched years ago, the Al Lusail yacht is noteworthy. Aside from its superstructure, the yacht is one of the world's largest when considering the steel and aluminum used in its construction. Unsurprisingly, this yacht's interiors are just as beautiful as its exteriors. The interior was created by the London-based H2 Yacht Design Company. 
In contrast, March created the expansive custom interiors and Sheik Tamim personally selected the color white. It can easily fit 36 guests with the assistance of 56 crew members. The El Lucille yacht has six opulent decks connected by an elevator. Among the highlights are a lavish swimming pool and allegedly extra space within the ship. A gym, movie theater, beauty salon, barbecue area, beach club with a swim platform, and a fantastic garage round out the list of other top-notch amenities. The garage is over 30 feet long and is home to two limousines. Sheikh Tamim is not the only Qatari royal family member who owns a luxury yacht. The specialized $400 million Katara is owned by Sheikh Hamad bin Kalapi Al Tai, his father. Larson created Katara, a yacht that is only one meter longer. In contrast to Alisail, the Katara's interiors were designed by renowned Parisian interior designer Alberto Pinto. It can host 28 guests in addition to 60 crew members. Even though Sheikh Tamim is more of a jet type, the Qatari royal family has an extraordinary collection of automobiles. A white Lamborghini Centenario Coupe, a purple Pagani, a silver Porsche 918, a red LaFerrari Aperta, a white Lamborghini Centenario Roadster, and a Bugatti Veyron V Rembrandt Legend are among the collection's other vehicles. Sheikh Tamim's mother built a $247 million mansion in the center of London a year after being appointed the mayor of Qatar in 2014. The lavish 33,000 square foot property, according to press releases, has 13 bedrooms, a spa, a heated pool, a beauty salon, a gym and massage rooms, and also features a floor just for kids. The Qatari ruler has 13 kids with his three spouses. The Qatari royal family member Sheikh Moza, the mother of Sheikh Tamim, purchased a considerable amount of real estate in London and other parts of the UK. All around, he's a great ruler who also likes to enjoy his time. And he does that by spending money. But let me emphasize he's a great ruler. Sheikh Tamim's strong personality enabled him to establish himself within the ruling family, said a diplomatic source close to the A.I. Tani family. On August 5, 2003, his brother Sheikh Hasim abdicated and he was named Crown Prince. According to diplomats cited by the BBC, Hasim, who held the position of Crown Prince for eight years, had wanted to increase his political influence. Sheikh Hasim gave up his post as Crown Prince in 2003. Hasim allegedly wrote his father a letter stating that the moment is suitable to step down and prepare for a successor. Hasim wrote in the letter, I did not wish to be appointed as Crown Prince, as I've informed you from the start, and mentioned that delicate circumstances were the reason he had only accepted the appointment in October 1996. But it is the most fantastic decision ever. Sheikh Tamim is the king the Qatar deserves. And now we also know that he isn't missing out on life, and neither should you. So go out, work hard, and enjoy a little. Well, that was all for today. Do let us know your opinions in the comments. And if you have this much fortune, how would you spend it? We will see you at the next one. Bye-bye.